Hey guys, this is your girl. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So today this video is going to be a little different, but um, I want to answer some questions that I've been getting asked about. And y'all already know what your girl always tell you. I'm here for y'all guys. I'm here for you. So um, we all in this together. Some of us are doing this as a hobby. Some of us are doing this for our business. Either either way it goes, we all doing it together. And like I always tell y'all that, um, you know, a lot of times I try things because I see a lot of people do it and I try, I try to do my information on it. I try to, you know, look at enough videos. I make Google my best friend. I ask a lot of questions and then I kind of put a little, use a little of my own knowledge that I kind of put it together like okay so if A and B if they doing A and this one doing B and we put it together let me see you know we're going to get a C out of uh, are we going to get a C out of it or are we going to get a D like what are we going to get and you know you just have to kind of like wing it a little bit sometimes you have to wing it and you and I always 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 say try and error try and error I always say that try and error I I've been saying that for over a year or two since I've been on YouTube and I've been doing my things. I always tell you guys, try your error, you know, and that's why I tell you sometime before you jump out the window and go buy a lot of expensive stuff, go and get you a couple of things that's not expensive to practice on, like stuff from the Dollar Tree, stuff from Five Below, even your local discount stores, your local, um, shop that so I, I it's a local shop that I go I can find like nice teas and stuff I'm out here in New York City we don't have the Walmart like a lot of y'all have so I, I go to a lot of my regular local stores and I find a lot of um polyester shirts cotton t-shirts different things like that so you know you just have to try like I said wing it so like I said I'm not gonna make this video too too long but I just want to come and address some of the questions and do and show you some of the things and how I come across making some stuff that I make and then as you always know in my video it's a lot of errors and I and I take the L on the errors so you don't have to take the L on it so we all know is when is when things is going on in the in in the um DIE world uh, what do you want to call it the um creation world um we could come up with a bunch of names for it the crafting um, community, you know, is always a trend. And we know right now the trend is the um, the tumblers with the, um, they, they call it, a lot of them, they have different names. Um, Keychain, um, no, purse um, chain tumblers. Um, we all know, you know, it's more of a look. The design is more of a look than more of really an actual chain tumbler even though something you know is is strong enough where it can hold like that but you don't want to appetize it as that because you really don't want people walking around carrying you know full of ice and water carrying it like it's a chain purse even though it's a tumbler you don't want them walking around carrying it like that because like i said it's more of a style than as a chain purse tumbler and that's the last thing you want for somebody to be walking and boom, because it's too heavy or it might give out eventually, you know, even though throughout time it's going to give out. But you don't want people walking around and um, and then it just break one handle break and then boom, it drop or whatever the situation is. And we always we all know how people are. So we don't want that. So. Make sure when you appetize it, you let it be known that is is more is is for it's a look. The design is more of a look. Is really you don't want to appetize it as that, especially if you're selling off your website because you know people are good to come back at you and things like that. So keep that in mind. But anyway, so. I don't know if you can see it, but um, these are some of the prints that I have. I have done um, a tumbler. So I'm actually going to, even though the keychain, um, the purse chain tumbler, even though it's a, um, right now, it's a hot tamale. And I think it's really going to be, especially throughout the summer. So jump on the bandwagon if you can. 
you know, a lot of the designs you can get off of Etsy's and a lot of designs you can make yourself. And especially when it comes to like the name brand designs, I'm noticing because, you know, um, on Etsy, with the name brands, you really can't do, you really can't sell them like that because it's a, you know, it's a name brand. It belongs to the people and you're really not supposed to be selling it. So you're really going to have a hard time finding a lot of them because a lot of the shop that I have purchased some of my stuff from are no longer there anymore. Their shops are temporary closed. I don't know if it's due to, you know, a lot of people been going, like they began high volume traffic or a lot of people been going buying custom um, electric files and stuff from them because of this, this trend. So I did find this Coax one. Let me move this out the way. I did find that Coax one, which I love. I love, love. And it has the Betty Boo on it. I do love it. So I'm going to make that a whole set. I did um, I did do the... um. Let me see if I can show you. I did do the cup, a coaster already. And um, I did a coaster, a cup, and a keychain. So I did do that. And... And I'm going to tell you what we're going to use for, well, people are using different things of the glue. So, I don't know. People are using different different types of the glue. And um, I don't know why, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to cut the video. And my aunt, I don't know. She always choose to, I don't know. So, anyway, I do apologize about that, guys. So anyway, this is how it go. Um, I, I really, really apologize. It happens every time I always like decide to record. I can do it, and then it's, for some reason they always want to stink, always come with the nonsense. Like it irks me. It, it, it irks me. But anyway, guys. So um. Oh, this is what I was I was I was this is what I was coming to show y'all, right? I knew it was something, but that just distracted me and then it's like why are they in front of my door? Like come on. That's the part that I don't get. But anyway guys, so if you can see that I did I did as you see. And like I said, you can it, it holds but you don't want to appetize it as a per and I did the um the um coaster the keychain and the cup so now i want to make it a full full set as well as i want to do the tumbler so you get the tumbler the coaster the coast the coaster the keychain i want to do a diary which that i have here which we're going to talk about this a little bit more I only did um, two so far. This one I did for myself. This was it was like a, a practice. I did this one for myself. So yeah, yeah. You could use it as a diary, a notebook, whatever. You have the the um. It has the string. It's easy to put together, guys. It's so easy to put together, and I'm going to get into that in a minute. I also, um, like I said, so it's going to be the diary, the, um, I have the, um, the pens, which is the sublimation pens. And you do the same thing. So it's going to be a set. I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do a set. This is the pen, the sublimation pen. So you will get... So the set is going to include a pen, a diary, the, the tumbler, the coaster, the um, keychain, and um, I'm not sure what else. Because I don't want to make it too much of a big um, set because sometimes when it's too much of a big set, then you know the price go up. And some people, 
have an issue with it and some people don't so that's another thing you need to know your your target of your customers those who are going to buy from you and those who are not going to buy from you so that that's the one thing you need to keep in mind also guys because you're going to have a lot of people going to be like oh their price is too high oh the price, but you got to but they don't go into other places and complain about the prices they don't go into other um um big big stores and stuff and talk about oh why you're selling this so much no they go in there and they actually pay that price with no hesitation no nothing so know your customers everything is not for everybody keep that in mind because remember you're paying people they don't realize you know um you have to get the you you, you have to get the supply the cup is not free you have to pay for that cup then you get the cup you have to the design you're using your ink for your from your printer you're using whatever accessories f that you have to buy for the decorated um and f and furthermore so it depends on so you could mix and match your set with me i probably like i said um i, I think that's going to be my most part of the sets is going to be the um the cup the the journey the coaster and the keychain that i might do one with a shirt the cup and the journey and the pen and the keychain whichever one and i might just do just sets i don't know we'll figure that out so back to um before we even get started like i said i didn't want to make this long but i want to come explain a lot of stuff to you guys so this right here this is called contact cement I got this from a cup. I, I got this from um, doing my research. I watched a couple of videos on people on how to um, sell their chain. So this was one that that look, I bought it. Honestly, I'm not too too happy with it. Like to me, I don't know. I'm gonna try it one more time. I tried it twice, and I'm not like I'm not getting the. To me, it's not giving what it what but they made it all to seem like that extra hole to me no so i'm going to try it again and i'm going to try it with you guys you guys i'm going to do the video i'm going to print the mug out we're going to um use it it's recommended you you don't need a lot but i even when this is only like i make sure i put enough you're supposed to put it on there let it sit they said you can't let it sit no pass passed over two hours so you're supposed to put it on the cup then put it on your piece you let it sit for anywhere from about 15, 20 minutes until it get tacky. So when you feel it that it's tacky, like that tacky almost, then you connect your pieces. And then you're supposed to let it sit for, I guess, 24 hours to 48 hours to cure. I let mine sit almost three days. And to me, it's still, it's dear, but it's, to me, it's still not that solid. So I'm going to do that right in this video with you guys and then i'm gonna also i ordered they have um the gorilla glue it's called gorilla glue a pro a gorilla glue part a proxy so it's it's a mixture of gorilla glue it comes in the, it's the tube of gorilla glue it's two tools that's connected but it's in one bottle so when you squeeze it you get part of the gorilla glue come out on one tool and then you get um i guess the props and then it tells you to put it like in a little on a little cup or a little paper and you're supposed to mix it together and then you put it on so far i'm saying a lot of people also use that and they saying it works so i don't know then i've seen a lot of people using the gorilla glue on on the um the glue stick they're using with they they heat gun the gorilla glue they did that and then after that they went over it and did a, a one thin thin layer of um a propsy i feel like that's too much when i if i'm supplementing i don't want to have to mix my supplementation with my propsy that's that's like two whole different type of projects to me that this is me if i'm going to do a propsy then i'm not supplementing i'm going to get and do a, a, a vinyl um printing cut the basic vinyl cut design or whatever um paper vinyl um design glitter you know something like that and then go ahead and do my proxy i'm not gonna um i feel like i shouldn't have to 
supplement and then go over it with um a proxy. To me, that's just too much. My opinion, just my thoughts, each his own. Do what you feel like is best. So, like I said, a lot of y'all ask where do we get the change from. I ordered them from off of Amazon. When you order off of Amazon, you know, you got to know the inches, whatever. So, from the first time I ordered, I ordered it and I know that. And then I seen another person, they ordered the whole link. And what they did was they took the link because it, it was cheaper to get like the whole roll than just to keep buying single pieces. Because the single pieces is like... Seven, seven ninety nine, nine ninety nine. You only get in one, and they get the two. I think it's like twelve ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine. So you get the roll. You you pay that roll, and you just and you could cut it to whatever size you want, and then you add your your pieces. So what I decided to do, I seen I got the longer link right, and what I'm gonna do, I already have some of these. I already have some pieces to clips, and it's easy to um separate to separate it's easy to separate i don't know if y'all can see that is it just so that's what i'm gonna do so i'll probably make it i can make two or three you see out of this one so it gives me a little more um a little more for my bucks like i said you can um you can order them because I have ordered the small ones, but like I said, it was like, see, I get, I got it longer so I can, um, break it down into two or three to get more for my buck. Because remember, I, when you're, you're making it, I'm paying $8 for one, right? And then you... Say your tumblers depends on where you're getting it from. You're not getting them on wholesale, or whatever. And my tumblers, actually, I found um, I found I found a a, a I would say I would say to me it's fairly it's cool because I get it within a day or two. I ordered for Amazon. I found another person that I get them from, and I get four for like I think it's four for like twenty. It comes to like twenty twenty five dollars. Which is good because I'm only paying like about, so it averaged out to me paying about maybe six and change a tumbler compared to paying $10 to $15 for one. And then remember, you, you trying to make your, you got to make your money back. Plus you want to make a profit. So you have to keep all that, all these things in mind if you, until you're able to get it from a vendor or whatever so yeah so that's what i just want to um bring y'all up on this so i'm like throughout the video guys i'm really not gonna the rest of the video as i'm um as i'm gonna um make the um uh, i'm just gonna make it because you we already know how to make it we already seen it me i'm using my cricket mug press i know a lot of people y'all have the um the mug press, you'll have a, the regular mug press, you're using the convenient oven, however you will do it is good. Me, I'm going to tell you straight, straight up and down, if you haven't got a mug press yet, I will, I mean, the Cricut mug press, don't get me wrong, I love it, I love it, I love it. But at times, I really wish that I had the convenient oven, because you can do more than one at a time. You know, you could do more than one at a time. Um, so if you if you haven't, I will tell you to get to get that to get that, or even up the regular mug press. Is it do what do what works for you? Do what works for you guys. Question. I got a question about this, right? This right here. This is um. This is a um. I don't I don't even know what you would call this, but I actually ordered this one off of Amazon, and it came with the tape and the tape. It has your measurements and everything there. 
Me, honestly, I think this probably is more, I would say more for when you're doing um, a prophecy and stuff like that. Or water slides when you need to lay your, like, lay your tumbler in there and to put your designs and stuff on. And like I say, especially when you're doing um, decal, like you're doing vinyl, I think this is even, this is more for that. Than, than doing the um, sublimation. I mean, don't get me wrong. You could use it for your sublimation. You could lay your, your design down, then put your tumbler, and then the wrap it. But to me, I feel like when you're doing sublimation, wrapping your tumbler, you need it. I feel, for me, I feel like the hold it so that way I could get that tight grip, that tight um, wrap on it. Then when it's laying down, it, this, like I said, I think is more for, to use it more for, um, when you put in on your, um, your vinyl, on your tumblers, your glass, whatever you're using. I think this is more for, and I got, like I said, I got this off of Amazon, but you can actually make it yourself. This right here is nothing but the, the, um, the form poodles that they sell at the Dollar Tree and a lot of y'all might already have this already in the home because when you especially when you're doing a lot of Christmas decoration you know that's when we really buy a lot of this from the Dollar Tree because that's all it is is the farm poodle and you can get this for the Dollar Tree you get one long one and you just cut it into half so one long one you probably can make two and then what they do is you have to they, there's a lot of videos on YouTube on showing you how to make it because all you got to do, like I said, you get get the um, poodles. I'm not sure if the Dollar Tree sell the pieces, but the screws and everything. A lot of people, they get it from like Home Depot or whatever. And they show you how to make it. Because I actually was going to make my own. But for some reason, the Dollar Tree near me never have nothing. Never, never, never have anything. So anyway, that's, a, that's another story. So anyway, guys, we're going to get into the video. It's already long enough. And the rest of the video, I hope you all enjoy it. Let the, I'm just gonna just like I said speed through the rest because we already know what it is. So and so for this for this um design, only thing you're gonna need in here is you're gonna need you some gloves. Whatever you do, guys, please, please, please invest, 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 and in use some heat gloves when you're dealing with um. When you're dealing with heat, when you're dealing with your, um, your, how would you say, your convenient oven, your mug press, your, um, easy press, your, um, what you call it, your, your regular press. You need some, you need some gloves because everything comes, everything always comes, it's, it's hot. Especially certain things that you pressing that's that's on um, metal. You already know metal really gets hot. So you definitely need that. You definitely need you some heat tape. Um I use this heat tape and I also use the blue um cricket brand heat tape. Um some of these yellow heat tapes is good and some of them not. So I'm not gonna tell you, I can't recommend you which one to get. Because the very first one I got, I really don't remember. I think it actually came with my bundle set that I got. And that was like last year sometime. Beginning of last year. So I got that then. So I really can't say, oh, okay, guys. Yeah, use that. Because I, I really don't know where I got it from. That tape was good. I have a bunch of different um yellow tape that I have all over the place. I'm going to show you. You see, I have different, I have bunch, I have a bunch of them. And they all from different places. You see, I have a bunch of them. And I keep them all over because I use, I do use it. But one of them, and, and I need to kind of keep in mind because one of them is really, I don't know, was it my error? Was it my error? My mistake? But I did use, when I um, pressed one of my mugs, I did get the yellow um, tape in. I don't, like I said, I don't know was it from the way I did it or not. I don't know. But I did see a little bit of yellow um, tape, like the yellow um, tape 
was on my design. So I'm not sure sure. So don't quote me on that. So you're going to need your design. I'm sorry guys, I'm hot. So you're going to need your, you got your tape, your gloves, your mug, your, your glass mug, your tumbler mug, whatever you're doing, your um, mason jar, whatever you, whatever you, whatever you making. In my case, I'm making um, two tumblers. You're going to need your designs. And like I said, I got a lot of my designs. I, I purchased off of, off of Etsy. Oh. No, this design right here um, was given. I purchased, I purchased, I bought these off of Etsy. No, actually, I bought that off a different website. Somebody um, selling on their website. I can, if you need it, this one somebody gave me. So I have to work on like sizing it. But all of these I bought off of um, these right here that I'm showing you right now. I bought these designs off of um, a website. This one I got off of Etsy. It's a Fendi. This I got off of Etsy. It's a um, scripture um, Bible. It's, it's like a, and it's a coat, um, quotes of the Bible and different things like that. This, like I said, y'all know I bought this off of Etsy as well. The Betty um, Bull um, thing. This I bought off the website. And this is another one of the Chanel that I just print over because if you say right here, I that's another thing I need to talk to you about. When you with your paper, keep your paper. Um keep, what happened was one thing you want to keep your paper, whatever you get it in, in the box, the thing. To me, the box is, is the best. Because if you get in the box, it's, it's, it keeps your paper straight. They don't bend up. I took my paper out the box, and I don't know what I what I was thinking, what I was doing. I don't know, but I left it laying around, right? So somehow, like I took when I took some of the sheets out to put in the printer, I don't know something happened, and it um it you see right here it it bent. I didn't even pay attention that it had. The paper had bent, so when it went into the printer, being it was bent, it kind of like jammed up. And as you can see, it was ripping as a thing. And that's a dangerous thing because um, if you go back to my videos last year, my very first um, printer that I got, that's what happened. I was printing something and I caught a paper jam. And with that paper jam, guys, the printer went out. Thank God that I had just got the printer and it was it wasn't even within a month. And I was even though it was it was converted, I was able to send it back to send it back to um through Epsi and they and they gave me a, a brand they replaced it with a brand new printer for the simple fact is it was they said it was a software. Thank God. I didn't have no problems. They didn't ask about was it converted, anything like that. So I was able to get that back. So keep in mind, because you know once you convert it, is that's it. So that's all we're going to need in this video and this clip is just the things that I just showed you. And now we're going to head over. Oh, be back. All right, guys. So I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So right now I'm just going to show you how I attach the pieces onto my tumblers to get that, um, chain effect as you see all the pieces that i've got i got them off of amazon the chain links the pearl links the um pieces that you attach to them i don't remember what's what the name is called but um is you will see it because it's right there with the um with the chains but if anything i can um i can i will share it if i can find it which I have been doing. So right now I'm using, which is Contact Cement is the name of this glue that I'm using. And me personally, I have tried it on a few other things. I don't really care for it, but I'm, I'm right now I'm redoing it because I'm, I'm 
trying to do an experiment to see which one is the best. On the MK one on the side, that cup I use um um E E six thousand, and so far it has not um it has it's, it's solid, and and that cup been made probably over a month. And I use and that's actually my personal cup, and I use it all the time. So yeah, so when you use this contact glue, you are told to put a, a little bit, but make sure when you do it, you measure, when you're doing these chains, you want to measure it so your, your chains, so your links are, are like even. On this one, I didn't use my measure, measurement tape, but when you watch the video as I go ahead and press everything from the beginning, you will see me doing the measurements, how I do it. Because you only get one shot once you put it on, it's, it's, it's on. You can't move it, anything. So you got to make sure you got it where you want it. And with the contact semen glue, you put it on, like they said, you put it on and it sticks for about anywhere, if they said from 15 minutes to two hours, don't let it go past that. You, you waiting to get that tacky feeling and then you will press it on. And then you let it sit and cure so here now like i said i'm just prepped a bunch of um cups and you see me taping it and right now i already have the um image taped on and i'm just using a piece of regular um contact paper paper just because i don't want the the design of the ink to bleed through and it gets on my um on my press so that's what that and I'm using my phone I'm timing it so for those of you that have the easy I mean that you that use a Cricut mark press you already know that you know you have to flip it so you have to time it because you have to rotate your cup the same way you would rotate it if you're doing it in a convenient oven or uh, air fryer or whatever it is or the regular press because you have to rotate only thing is you just doing it a little bit it's a little more time consuming so here i'm prepping all my designs as you see i'm cutting off the white and make sure you do that guys make sure you cut it get your image correct do your measurements however you're going to do it because that's so important when it comes to your cup because you will see down the line in the video where i i was doing something and i didn't and i realized i left one i didn't cut my whole design out and it left and i end up with the line on the back I had this the line on the back of my mug the string line and we know we don't want that guys we don't want that so it's very very important to do that I'm just saying as you see right there I was just measuring up just to see how this just to make sure when I do my overlap is 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 gonna connect with the design so you won't have no no screen no um how would you call it I won't have no line no seam in the back of my um, mug or no side and make sure you you line it up because you don't want just your, your seam to be on the side or all that you want a perfect mug guys perfect mug so you already know you need your your um heat tape you need your heat tape you need um some gloves that's so important because the stuff be hot you need your gloves your heat tape and what you see right there the that mat it's a silicone mat that I have got off of Amazon when, because I do a propsy, I do a lot of propsy stuff. So when I ordered the the mat for my propsy, it came with two. So that was an easy fix for me, since I needed a mat, a silicone mat. I just used one of that. So all I do is fold it up. A lot of people use the cardboard to to put in their um. They quick the mug press to make the so the mug because you the idea is to make the mug tight. In reality, guys, I watch um, if you watch previous of my other videos, you will see I did a test where I didn't put anything in it like to make my mug press because the whole thing was it was like long as I had even heat because it's just like if you put it in the toast oven. You you don't have nothing to press against it. You got that even heat, so that's what I did. So, but I did use um the um shrink wrap 
and the mug came out perfect. You have to go back and watch some of the videos. I don't know if I'm going to be, if I remember to link the videos so you can see them. But, yeah. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing. And I just put it in. And then I set my timer. And as we're going, because I'm doing so many. So, as one is being set, I'm doing the other one. So, here is, um, like I said, I'm on different social media platforms. So, I have to do my videos. And this video is for TikTok that you see me doing. When you see me taking the pictures. So, I'm doing the before and the after and things like that. And as you see on this one, I'm showing you. I don't have the line print. So, you see, that's the line where I didn't line it up. So, be careful, guys. Just be careful. I promise you, take your time and you will be fine. You know, just take your time and everything will be good. So, like I said, I'm doing multiple uh, mugs. And when you're doing multiple mugs, you definitely have to take your time because... Yeah, you taking your time because, like I said, you're doing multiple mugs and you don't want to, for one, you don't want to rush any time, whether you're doing one mug or you're doing multiple mugs because you're dealing with different patterns, different designs. You want to make sure that you cut everything correct. Me, myself. I love my scissors. Make sure you invest in a good pair of scissors. The scissors that I, I'm using that you see. These are Cricut brand scissors. But um, make sure you get you some decent scissors. Um, or you can get you a cutter. Whichever one you like. I like the scissors more. But that's what you want to deal with. And um, as you see, I'm just taping it. And I'm not going to really go through everything. Because like I said, I did so many videos on pressing them tumbler inside the mall press if you want to see that you can go back and watch some other videos like i said i'm putting the um taping it putting it in as you see the silicone map that you see right there i really love it i use it all the time it works well when you're dealing with um skinny tumblers and the mug and and the cricket mug press you need to um put something in it to give it a tight fit a lot of people like i said use cardboard you can use cardboard you can use different things but remember cardboard burns and it's hot so you kind of want to you know uh so i'll go with the silicone map it's work no problem ever since i've been using it so i'm not going to prolong on this part of it like I said, you press one mug, you press two mugs, you've seen it, we've done it. So, any questions, leave the comments down below. I'm sorry for how to do the over voice on the video, but I do apologize. But I just wanted to get this out and I wanted to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you guys. Like I said, I'm doing multiple designs and I have no problem answering your questions and things like that. So, now that I have pressed all the mugs, as you can see, they're there. And as I was telling you at the beginning of the video, when you're putting your um, pieces on, you you really want to measure it. So pull out your um, measuring tape, and you want to measure because you want your you want it to be even. And then make sure you have like a little marker or a pen, some something where you can mark it, put your little dot so you know your your thing is even on both sides. So that's where that comes in handy at while I said at the very 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 beginning when it's the supplies when I said you're gonna need a measurement tape. So here it is. Like I said, I used the, the contact semen on these mugs on the last two mugs. I'm really not a big fan of it. One of the mugs on the Betty Boo one, it it holds up very well. The other one, no, it's not. But the the E6000 has been holding up for over a month, and I think I'm going to stick with that. And I'm ordered, I am ordered the, um, they have one. It's a Gorilla Glue part of Propsy, and I believe I'm going to um, try that one and really see which one holds out the longest. But so far, the E6000 is holding out the best. I'm not a big fan of the contact semen, but feel free to try it if you think that's what will work for you so i just want to show you these is the mugs the outcome of the mugs this is a fendi i bought all these 
I got these off the website. I don't know the name by heart, but if I can remember, I'll leave the links down below. If not, please let me know and I will get you the information. Thanks for rocking with your girl.